Good morning. It's another beautiful day in Ningbing. Well, we're actually in Tamkak, which is like a village outside. So I just paid for another day on this shitty motorbike. So yeah, still got things to explore. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day, the sun is up. The weather is nice. Unfortunately, at the place where I'm staying, there was this girl who was really pissed this morning because uh, she had a motor, she had a helmet stolen. So that was not nice, but hey, it is what it is. I don't wear a helmet here. Yeah, so today I'm gonna check out uh, the temple and see if we can fix this, uh, this hair. Didn't have time to get a haircut yesterday. I was busy taking naps and being at the wedding. So, today's a beautiful day. This is the center of Tamkak. There's a little market down here. Some street food and a lot of people who rent out motorbikes. So, let's go and conquer the day. This place is definitely a vibe. I really like it here. So chill, especially if you get up early and come out. There's not really too many people around, only the locals. And you know, that's what I'm all about. So I'm gonna check this, uh, this, this little temple thing out. It's called the uh, Pagoda something. Xin chào. Huh? What? Cafe. Cafe? Vietnam. Ah, oh, I need to go here first. Okay, come back. Yeah. Maybe I come back. Come back. Okay. Uh, maybe okay. I come back. Come okay. Back here. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> maybe. Come back here. Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna check this thing out, and afterwards, we're gonna go back to Ningbing, the city, because we were there last night, looking at the market. But I wanna show you some more of that city, and we still need uh, we need a fresh fade. Your man's looking feral. We can't have that, it gotta be fresh. So yeah, take a look. I mean, wow, look at this place. So as you can see, not really any tourists yet. Oh, that's where I'm going. That's where we're going. Oof. Look at this place. So apparently, <laughs> apparently we gotta we gotta get some incense that we gotta light up at Buddha. There's okay, apparently Buddha. three Buddhas here. Buddha. Buddha. Yes, three Buddhas. Okay. Okay, so we gotta okay. we gotta light some incense. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Okay. 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 Let's get you some money, old lady. Here you go. Thank you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Nah, it's good. I already got. Uh, I'm sorry. I already, I already got this. I, I know, I know, but I, I already, I already got this. It's good. It's all good. Sorry. Sorry, I already got this. So yeah, let's uh, let's go blaze up with Buddha. Or whatever you say. Incense. I know it's incense. Madam, no money. Madam, no money. I know. I gotta, I gotta go. Okay. So, I escaped the old ladies who wanted to sell me incense. Now we, uh, we've moved in. This place is pretty cool. 
So we got a lot of mountains. A little staircase that way. And some ancient structures. And I think there should be... Oh yeah, I see some stairs over there. So we can go up here somewhere. Let's check it out. Okay, we move through here. There's a little path in behind these buildings that are like built into the cave. And there's another staircase. So far, pretty cool. Hello. Hello. This might be the Buddha's. Looks like it. Oh, what? Maybe not. <laughs> I reached the top, which is down there behind the rocks. There's a little temple thing. But uh, I wanted to go higher, so uh, despite the fact that there was a sign that said do not climb this, I had to climb this. So I climbed all the way, boom, 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 and yeah, pretty cool. Just gonna show you the, the look here over the rocks, over the edge. It is a beautiful day. Okay. I'll enjoy the view a bit. What the fuck? Sounds like a dog getting molested. Oh yeah. I figured out they eat, they eat dogs here. I've seen them in small cages and I've seen them on the grill. I don't like the sound of that. But yeah, I've seen them on the grill, like the same way you would roast a whole pig. You put a spear through and you just, you know, roast. So yeah, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit savage to be honest. But then again. I'm not gonna invade other people's culture. It is what it is. So yeah. I just bought a lighter. No, I didn't buy it. I borrowed a lighter from this lady. Now we got to unwrap this stuff. Damn, there's a lot of sticks. Okay, so I wonder how this works. You just Okay, we've got a little torch going. So, let's just place these. Oh yes, I'm finished. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yes, you Thank you. Yeah, 
Okay, so we blazed up with Buddha. Say hello to Odin for me. And let the strength of Thor guide me. Aight? Aight. Let's go. So yeah, pretty cool place. Pretty cool place. I'm gonna give the name. I keep forgetting these names. Uh, this place is Bichtong, Bichtong, <laughs> Bichtong Pagoda. Here. All right. All right. Getting the hatchet. <laughs> Just getting a little coconut before I leave this place. Okay. Shove it up. Yes, very good. <laughs> very good. She just split open the coconut for me after I finished it. Now let's get some of that delicious meat. Bon appetit. Good, good, good. <laughs> Very good. So back home, when I get this meat, it's all dried up and tasteless. Vietnam kêu là rất ngon. Huh? Vietnam kêu rất ngon, rất ngon. What does that mean? Rất ngon Vietnam. Rất ngon. Rất ngon. Okay. It's very good. <laughs> so as I was saying, back home, this coconut meat is always very dry. Very tasteless, but when you get it fresh, it's a whole other experience. It's really, it's really good. If you ever get the chance, do it. Always ask them to split it open so you can eat the meat. Because this meat is delicious and fat. And full of electrolytes. Shit. I should be a dietist. Call me up if you need a diet. It will consist of meat, coconuts, some vegetables and fried noodles. Oh, I already said too much. <laughs> Gotta go inside here and get some breakfast. Xin chào. Xin chào. Xin chào. Phố sau. Phố sau. Ok. All right. Phố sau is fried noodles with beef and vegetables. And uh, to my experience, to my experience, that's the best food you could get around here so far. Well, check this out. Have a little bird in the prison.
，玩游戏呢，打输，啊。All right, my friend. I'm gonna sit here. All right. It's always drinking shots in the morning. It's a pretty normal thing around here, for some reason. Okay, my friend. Come on. Đặc biệt. That was really good. Feeling satiated. Mm. The sun is upon us. Damn. One thing I really like, whenever I get this for Shao, they always serve a little, a little bowl of soup. You always get that first, a little bowl of soup. In some places that soup is just it's something else, it's something different. This one at this place was whew, really good, really well tasting. Yeah. So now we're satiated. Gonna head into deeper into the city. And uh, let's see if we can find a place to get a haircut. <laughs> Someone singing karaoke to each his own. Let's see what we got here. Say ciao. Interesting. Xin chào. Xin chào. See some local barbers here. See if we can get a cut. Xin chào. You do haircut? Zzz. Yeah? You can cut my hair? How much? How much? You don't understand? Yeah, here? You do fade? You understand what that is? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna show you. The language barriers. Let's see. Like this? You gonna do that? Okay. Let's go. Come on. Only only the sides. Don't not this. Not this. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. Yeah. Very good. Let's see how do we look. Nice. Good. Nice and fresh. <laughs> okay, uh, how much? Okay. <clears throat> uh, what is 
this. Oh, 50. Oh, okay. 50. Fa okay. Uh huh. Wow, that is cheap. It's much cheaper than food. Have a good day. Yeah, okay. Bye bye. Yeah. All right. How do we look? It looks pretty good. So apparently he gave me the messy cut. He didn't speak any, any English, so... But uh, we still communicated in our own way. This is apparently local style. Pretty cool. That was insanely cheap. I'm a bit, I'm a bit baffled by how cheap that was. So... Min Bin, Tam Kak. We've been to some touristy places. We've been to the market at night. We've been eating good food, bad food. We've been at a wedding. Now we got a fresh cut. Oh, actually, let's get a drink before we leave. <laughs> let's get a drink. <laughs> Good job. What, what I want? Um, that's a good question. What do I want? I want this. True tea. Let's get some true tea. How much? Uh, for you, 18. Eight. For me, 18. Eight, what about eight, for her? 8,000. 8,000. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> it's okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Come on. Yes. Bye I bye. Had, I had go. Huh? If I, uh, nah, it's good. It's all good. Okay, okay. Bye bye. So yeah, we've seen a lot of shit. We did a lot of shit. It's been good. Let's, uh, let's taste this true tea. Hmm. It's all right. What's this? What is this? Cake? Yes. How much for one? Um, five. Five thousand? Yes. Okay, I'll try one. Delicious. Huh? Delicious. Very delicious. Uh, yeah, i try one. Two? Okay, two. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Soy, soy bean. Soy bean? Yes. What is this? Five. Um, oh, ten, soy ten. drink. Ah, no, thank you. I'm good. Thank you. Coffee? No, I'm good. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, let's try this cake. It's kind of like the thing I got in Sapa, only this is better. Again with some kind of sesame seeds, deep fried dough. And some mystery shit in the middle. It is good. Wow. Mm, mm, mm.
What? I don't understand. This has become my number one phrase. I don't understand. So yeah, we've seen a lot of things, did a lot of things, met a lot of nice people. Nin Bin, cool experience. Oh, before I end this. Um, when I was driving around on my motorbike, I realized Nin Bin is uh, an industrial city. I think it's also known for its industry. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But it's quite an industrial city. I saw uh, seen a lot of factories and stuff in the outskirts. So yeah. Gonna end the video here. Eat my cake. Drink my tea. It could be better. Gotta be honest, but effort for trying. <laughs> Good. <laughs> So, I had a camera. So I'm just out here working out, and I met a friend. Hello. What is this? What is this? For uh, eating? This? Can I try? Can I? Okay, I just, uh, okay. Okay, I eat this. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. This is good. I don't know what this is. Um, it's sweet. It's sour. It also tastes very green. It tastes a bit like um, peas, actually, in a sweet and sour way version. Mmm. Wow, this is good. Can you um, can you show me a trick? Or just uh, you know this one, all that? Way! Woo! Nice, <laughs> strong. I will show you a trick. Hold this. Okay. Turn here. You see? You can. You see? You can oh. look. Whoa. No, no, no. Ah, no good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wanted to show him some tricks. Well, to be honest. I already already did off camera. That sounded weird. It wasn't supposed to sound like that. But yeah. <laughs> Choking on this fruit. If you know what this is, let me know. It's really good. Yeah? Over here and back. Boom, boom. Okay. One, two, one. Oh. <laughs> two, three. No. <laughs> And back. <laughs> All right. Cool. Oi. Ow, you okay? Ow? Yeah. You okay? Nice. So, just finished the workout with my new little friend. Don't know what his name is. He can only count to three in English and say yes and no. So, it's been pretty, pretty good day, fun experience. 
we had some challenges. You saw do most push-ups. And there's like this little little vine over here. He was swinging. Yelling like Tarzan. Really fun. So yeah. This is going to be it. Bye. Goodbye my friend. Bye bye. Da bien. The evening is upon us. The sun is going down. And before I leave, I'm gonna leave this place tonight. Going to a place called uh, Dong Nya, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember the name. But before I leave, I just wanna give you a little tour through the village. So yeah, it's been a beautiful day. A lot of things happened. Pretty cool. So here we are, the village. And this is far off the main road. Out with the locals they are. The main sweep in the streets. Got some dogs in there. Xin chào. Hello. 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 <laughs> Xin <laughs> chào. As always, good vibes. People, I don't think people are used to seeing whiteies in these streets. Because, uh, well, any kind of tourist really. Because tourists usually go to the touristy places. Yeah, Sam Kok, the village. It's a pretty cool place. Through the village, zigzagging my way. Look at the view. Okay, let's see if I'm even on the right path. I don't know. I think I'm on the wrong path. So we have to go back. I've got a new friend. What's your name? What should we call you? Huh? What should we call you? I think I will call you... You look like a Charles to me. Huh? Charles? Should we call you Charles? Hmm. You're cute. You are cute. What's up, Charles? You coming? There we go. What's up, bro? What's up, Charles? Oh. Oh, big boy, I see this is your place. Oh look, they got dogs and cages over there. Shit. I don't like that. But that's what I told you about earlier. They eat them around here. Crazy stuff. Anyways, goodbye Charles. So this is it guys, Ninbin, Kamtok, Moa Cave, and Bich, Bich Pagoda, I don't know how to pronounce it, 
So, I'm gonna end this video here. Until next time. I was supposed to leave Ningbin, Tamkak, tonight. I was actually supposed to be on the bus, right at this very moment. But as the guards would have it, it just didn't happen. So the good man at the place where I'm staying, he unfortunately booked my ticket for tomorrow instead of today. So I was driven there in a, in a cab to catch the bus. And when I arrived, my name was not on the list. So, tomorrow I have a whole other day here in Nimbin. And there's a national park. It's like 70 kilometers from here. I'm gonna check it out. But I want to take the opportunity to show this room. This is my hotel room. The entrance here. Got some table shit going on there. Nice big bed. It's really comfortable. And we have the toilet. The bathroom. Pretty decent. And also cheap. So yeah. The Ningbing adventure apparently continues. So when I arrived at the bus and my name wasn't on the list, uh, another guy from the hotel, this young dude, he was apparently that there on his motorbike. And I told him, so my name is not on the list. And he said, yeah, because he didn't speak English. So did some Google Translate magic. And I said, I had to go back with you to the hotel. So long story short, we rode back, he got a snack on the way. And um, when I came here, he was very apologetic about what happened. I just laughed and said, it's okay, because you know, what can we do? Things happen sometimes. He gave me a, a big glass of rice wine and some peanuts. And uh, just for the record, this is not regular wine. It's 40%. So I'm actually a little, little tipsy now. <laughs> so I'm gonna relax a bit, hit the sack, and the new adventure awaits tomorrow. <laughs>